Hi, Supersrews here, back with another, another new game, Minus Minus Studio, episode 39, and I have grinded a lot of Eternity Points, like, a lot. I have gotten the 9E34 Eternity Point multiplier here, so I'm still at 7E34. That's enough to get quite a few of these time dimensions. I can get this one, that one, all of these... Let's see, I can probably get everything up to that one, and then enough for a few time theorems. Let's see, one, two, three, four more time theorems. So, yeah, that, that's, that does a little bit, it's really not all that much, but whatever, it's something. And also, people were saying that Eternity Challenge 1, yeah, the goal has been reduced because there is an update. So, yeah, it looks like I can finally do Eternity Challenge 1. Like, actually do Eternity Challenge 1. Also, I've heard the reward is buffed. So, let's see. Hopefully, this will be easy because I've not been able to do Eternity Challenge 1 at all before. So, yeah, this is probably going to be easy. It's, it's, not, it's not just going to be possible, it's going to be easy. Which is, like, that. that's extremely rare. Also, I, yeah, I can just hold R to get replicated galaxies. And... That should easily give me E1800 here. Like, like, it's not even a challenge. Because, yeah, new updates. So, here it is. I can actually beat the challenge. Maybe I can even do it again. Who knows? Because I have no idea what the next, next goal of this is. It's E2100, so it may be possible. But what people were saying I should do is time dimension plus active. Instead of infinity dimension plus active. So... Okay, I'll, I'll I'll do it like that. Maybe I can get some more, like eternity points and everything. Let's see if I if I also if, if I just do really inefficient eternities, like I'll just like spam E, I can get this up to like higher than one. If I if I just hold the E key down, maybe this will go up higher than one. If I want to do long runs, it doesn't look like it's actually the best idea to to do that because it's not going up any higher than one so I'll just do it like this and it feels like I'm getting a little more infinity points than usual let's let's see oh of course I can get that which helps eternity points but it looks like I'm at E oh is, is it it's eternity for me that's why I, I I don't need to have this doing it for me so this reward unfortunately is weak it's, yeah, it's, it's very weak. It's almost negligible, but maybe the new build is just going to be better for eternity points. Like, let's see how much I'm actually going to be able to get. I'm over E5000, and to get another time theorem, I need E5400. So, maybe it'll give me some, maybe it won't. If it doesn't look like this is all that much better, it looks like it's marginally better, but it doesn't look like it's all that much better, so... I don't think Eternity Grinding here is the way to go, unfortunately. Maybe some of the other Eternity Challenges have, like, their goals have been nerfed. I'm, I'm not sure. It feels like I can get E5400 Infinity Points, however. So at least that'll be a couple new Time Theorems, which will help everything. I At this point, I can use everything I can get. There's an achievement right there, so... It's the it's over nine thousand achievements, so that means I can since sacrifice does not reset your dimensions, which essentially means I can turn this automatic sacrifice auto buyer. Where even is the automatics? Oh, here it is. Why is this five win oh one? I can just do one, and or okay, I can, I can just do one point oh one like that. So okay, at least at least I can at least I have that. It looks like I can get one more time theorem here and another if I. Just like wait to crunch a little bit, and maybe I'll try Eternity Challenge Six again. Like I'm, I'm not exactly sure what's the best build for it, but maybe I can try it. Like maybe the sacrificing, not resetting the dimensions, may help. Okay, I don't think it's actually gonna help all that much, but let's see. It's I, I did try this um, before, but I, I didn't, I couldn't beat this challenge before. Maybe it's only gonna be a little better with the time dimension instead of the infinity dimensions so e380 e450 e480 and no this is just not going to be possible at least not with this build so I'm, I'm just gonna have to give up 
here. And that's probably where all, all of these are going to be. It's just going to be, I just give up on everything. I feel like I'm going to try Eternity Challenge 1 again, because that... Like, I feel like the first one was so easy that I may be able to get a second completion out of it. So, again, I'm going to do this build, and I'm going to Eternity Challenge 1 second time, and maybe I can do this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's completely possible, but hopefully it will be possible. So just get these upgrades, get all these, all the way up to E1400, E1600, so this is a good sign that it's going to be possible like even possibly even e easy i'm not sure if e2100 is going to be easy though like it looks like it it may not be easy because here's e1891 so i'm about 200 orders of magnitude away looks like i'm going to get up to almost e2000 here um this is 1993 so yeah it's probably going to be possible it's not going to be as easy as last time but it's at least possible not re that's really what counts at this point and I did a bad crunch there because I was at max replicated galaxies I, I really I really need the yo dog achievement it's it's this one down here where your intimator does not reset on dimension boost and galaxy that essentially means you cannot get bad crunches anymore where you don't get infinity infinity points there's another bad crunch it said e2068 I did not get e2068 I, I really need to get that achievement like I I'm saying that's too much so right now it's really slowing down. I'm only getting a couple orders of magnitude per crunch here. But the thing is, there's this. At E2090 infinity points, I'll be able to get one more replicated galaxy, which could make the difference. I can see it's just 2089 all the time. And I, I really hope this is going to be possible. Maybe I need to grind some infinities. I'm probably grinding infinities by doing this. And will I get this? I know, not quite. And, Still getting random things that are E2089. This should this should give me enough. No, it's not enough for this last upgrade. And it's just buying other things of equal cost. That, that that's what it's doing. And I'm I still can't get this replicated galaxy. Am I gonna get it here? No, it bought something else. See, I I, I told you. I don't know how many things cost E20. Okay, here it is. Hopefully, this galaxy will make the difference. It's only one galaxy. But it could make the difference. It gave me two orders of magnitude. And I'm going to need to grind some infinities here. I know. It's very sad. But that's what I have to do. So, yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Like, a day later. I've grinded probably way too many infinities. Yeah, 14 billion infinities. It should definitely be enough to be able to get to E2100 and beat the challenge. So, yeah, that... That's that's pretty exciting. Just be to be able to beat one of these challenges just at all is pretty exciting. So here it is, E twenty one hundred. I can beat the challenge or get which gives me another week reward here. It's let's see, it's yeah, it's just a little bit more powerful multiplier on all time dimensions. Except that there is a that an update dropped. Except I haven't reloaded. So apparently this update drop is a balancing update that will finally speed this game up once and for all. Because right now, this game is way too slow, and yeah, you're just going to see it next episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.